What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. Show brought to you by Raising Canes. Uh, I already said I had the meal. I'm getting the best of it now. It's my Tuesday night, uh, Tuesday afternoon lunch. Come for the fingers, stay for the sauce. Order online at RaisingCanes.com. Um, as people can see, I did eat it. I have it. And I'm going to probably see... Uh, Todd Graves at the Derby. I can't wait. Great guy. Also, is some new cool merch, just like we have. You can get your own at RaisingCanesGear.com. And a friendly reminder, Mother's Day is right around the corner, so if you really want to get her the perfect gift, a Raising Canes gift card is a no-brainer. Buy an e-card gift and send the gift of chicken fingers. So now that your mouth is watering, go to Canes today. There really is no other option. All right. Uh, BFF's new episode. I got my Raising Canes. Um, shout out to Raising Canes. They did a much better job of not trying to make me 9,000 pounds. Just two orders today instead of like six. So that's good. Shout out. This is my new... Uh, oh, jealous. I know. It's my new... We, we filmed this on Tuesday, so it's my new Tuesday afternoon meal. Um, and it's my favorite chicken fingers in the world, so thank you. I'm actually probably going to see... Uh, him this weekend at the Kentucky Derby. I saw Brie. You asked Silvana if she's going to F1, right? Yeah. Is she? No, we go, no, we go to Kentucky Derby. Oh, We're I didn't classy. know they were the same weekend. Yeah, Portnoy is a classy. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Um, I'm the opposite of that. Is Kentucky Derby really classy? Depends where you do it, Josh. Okay, okay. Fair question. Okay. There's Thank certainly you. some Thank elements you. of it uh, that are not. It's mm. it, it's everything. It, it, horse racing is like Star Wars to a degree. Not uh, obviously F one is ah. probably the same, but you have every walk of life at a at a horse track. I was just being facetious because F one is definitely bougie too. So um, <laughs> right, right, right. Ferrari and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Ford Ferrari. All right. So let's get into today's topics. So the Met Gala just happened, and I'm actually quite enthused to unveil my Kentucky Derby wardrobe. It may make the Met Gala look like, you know, child's play. Wait, are you we'll stepping see. out? Mm, mm, mm. Well, Kentucky Derby is like a big. Yeah, I know. I know. But yeah. are you going to step out of your comfort zone and wear something crazy? No. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> out like, of is it my just comfort a suit? zone, if, it, if a comfort zone is, if my comfort, if 10, no, if one is, What's out of my comfort? It's like a seven. It's a loud suit for what I normally okay. wear. Okay. But so it's, it's still just colorful. like a... Yeah, it is. Is it a basic suit or is it like a three-piece suit or what type it's, of suit? It's fairly, but you guys will see. I'll, leave, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll just tease it. You guys will see. I'll, I'll send out a picture on Saturday. I'm all excited. Um, I'll send one out. So the Met Gala theme this year was Carl Lagerfeld, a line of beauty. And, and we went over this. I'd love to be... I don't care like about being invited. Almost anything. I would like to go to the Met Gala. Um, not last night the Celtics were playing, but most of the time. Um, so, anyways, it's wait, you said you late. would love to go? Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, it's uh, interesting to me all the fashion and what the fuck's going on, and don't it's a premiere event. Don't you usually say you'd rather die than go to the Met Gala? No, he said no. he'd want to go multiple times. Really? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was. I got into like a you... thing with Andrew Schultz about it on BFFs. Oh, okay. Wait, Dave, Dave, wouldn't you have kind of wanted to go to the Met Gala last night though? It's kind of in hindsight, knowing what happened. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. By the way, Sixer fans like this is the Allen Iverson step over Tyron Lou. Like in LA, they when they beat the Lakers in game one and then they lost the next four. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, we in will. hindsight, I, I, I wouldn't have missed much. Mm -mm. Um, mm -mm. Anyways, Carl was a longtime creative director uh, for Chanel, highly respected in the industry. The theme was controversial. Um, hold on one second. Sorry. Hello? This guy doing phone calls? Good. Now? Yeah. It's going to be a business deal, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Close that deal, Davey. You got it. Close it. Come on, Davey Deals. Close Push that shit. More. Push for more. Get more. Know, know how to negotiate. Ask for a little more than you want. Then reel him, uh, reel him in. Yeah. Get that bag. Come on. Sell it to him. Sell it to him. Show him why he needs the pen. Mm-hmm. Mm. Supply and demand. Come on, D. You know. You know. Huh? That S and P, that S and P. I don't think it's looking oh, good for him. Josh. Come on, face. DP. That like a word for yeah, this. that was a bad face. Oh, fuck. Fuck. DP isn't 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 fuck. isn't relying on his SP. I think he might be losing the deal. I think he's losing the deal. Fuck. Damn, he hasn't said a word in a while. So long with nothingness. 
it dominated the conversation. Yeah, he's getting a lecture right now of why mm. they can't close the deal with him. They would love to work with him in the future, though. Oh, no. oh don't Fuck. say that. Fuck, look at his face. Oh, this is by the way, though. by the way, by the way, I found my new sweatpants. Or I found my old sweatpants, guys. Oh, where were they? Uh, I don't know. Just they appeared. You know when pants go missing and then they're like randomly on a banister? Yeah. It happened with my pants. Nice. Yeah, I, was super I mean, stoked. I didn't send it. Daniela did. So whatever. All right. But they're all good. Yep. Yep. So we have a deal? Thanks. <laughs> deal or <All> no right. <laughs> deal? <laughs> Sorry. That's We're like on the my edge bank. Of our seat, man. My bank, and they send out like their wires, like, and they need my approval. And if I miss the call, everything gets delayed. So that's why it usually is faster. I'm sorry. Facts, um, guys. Okay. So, uh, longtime director of Chanel, Carl Lagerfeld, highly respected in the industry. The theme was controversial to some because Carl was known for his comments about women's weight and other problematic issues. Uh, people believe some of the bigger stars did not go to the gala because the theme was honoring him. Do they mean bigger as in uh, bigger star power, or bigger waistline? Oh, that's um, actually a good question in this context. Well, I think Blake Lively is someone who avoided because of that. So I assume I thought she was there. I saw a picture of Blake Lively. Yeah, there was like oh, a list of people shit. that didn't go. Like Rihanna was on a list of people that didn't go, and she was fully there too. But I, don't I know. 100% saw Blake Lively in a black dress, so I don't know what that's about. I don't know. Maybe it was a throwback. I, what did he say? He what, just yeah, what he was hates fat people. Like, like he just said, I hate fat people. Like quote, he's there's unquote. quotes of like he's like, it's so gross he can't even look at them. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know Blake Lively, Lively didn't go, so it must have been a throwback. Or maybe you you got someone mixed up with Blake Lively. Maybe I got someone mixed up with Blake Lively. Uh, okay, if you say so. I mean, who am I to? I thought I saw a picture. Okay. Um, Rihanna and ASAP Rocky arrived an hour late. Rihanna and ASAP Rocky show up an hour after every other the celebrity. Most of the attention they got was for ASAP Rocky yeah. jumping the fence to get into their hotel. I saw that video. Yeah, and he, like, he like pushed he the like girl face, face palms a, a girl. Like I, it definitely wasn't. It doesn't look necessarily like it was intentional, but I think he was trying to like get over the fence, and his hand is just face palm. Yeah, Josh Allen stiff arm to the face. Watch her face after too. <laughs> She was, she was mad, so and then she's mad. like, oh, my God. She's and then she's like, wait, that was ASAP's hand. Who is? That girl. What? They got her face pushed in. She's a BFF stand? Yeah. How do you know that? Because she, like, tweet, like she got, went viral for being like, yeah, that's me. And then she's, like, tweeting. She's like, the only interview I do is BFFs. Like, I don't know, know what we talked to you about, but. Yeah, it's kind of a quick interview. Yeah, yes, that was cool. You got like what was it like? What was it like getting your face pushed in? Did yeah. it, his hands? So good. what? So, the, whole, the entire hotel was blocked. Is that what the deal was? Yeah, that's where they all come out to take pictures and like people scream and watch for them. Can so I see that is. again? The video. Yeah. <laughs> Who was he waving to? Uh, the fans. Some guy handed him a bag of something. Yeah, I, I, I it, like the the crowd was the happiest people in the world that they got their face pushed in. By yeah, I would be honored, so honestly, cares? to get my face yeah. pushed in by Isaac Rocky. Um, celebs is Carl Lagerfeld's cat. Oh, that's why people dress. As yeah, the cat. yeah. That puts it a little bit more into perspective. I, I saw Doja Cat as a cat. I was like, oh, well, her name is Cat. And then I saw Jared Leto as a cat. But Jared Leto is just crazy. So I just thought That's he was true. being crazy. <laughs> and I think crazy. Little Nas did something with a cat, too. And all of his interviews, he was meowing. And so was Doja Cat. Can we see that? About this. Meow. I mean, who? Is, wait, so who made it? Meow. Wow. Okay, so something a little different. So, what was your inspiration for tonight? <laughs> Be honest with me and go into detail. Wow. 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 So, what are you excited to see in there today? Wow. So, this event, I mean, it is the dumbest event ever, right? It's, uh, it's just a bunch of meowing, yeah. dude. Yeah. What? 
If people are yeah. meowing at each other, it seems pretty dumb. I mean, and the yeah, amount of money that is spent on the outfits and the costumes and everything to raise money for like a museum, right? The Metropolitan Museum. It's just crazy. Now, having said that, I'd like to go, but it is like I one of the things I never know with celebrities. See, if I went to it, like, and I'm seeing here on the list, Pete Davidson um, and Pete and Kim were spotted talking or whatever. Fine. Like, and I could be wrong. I get the impression like Pete Davidson is very self-aware and at an event like this, he's like, this event's so stupid. Whereas Kim Kardashian is treating it um, like, like it's prom? curing cancer. Yeah. Like it's a very important, everything has to be right. This is the most important social night of the year. Like so the that's whole my, year leads up to it for her. Correct. Yeah. And it is more important than basically anything else in the world. If you're a celebrity, right? Isn't that like make you like if you're invited to the Met Gala, it's like, OK, you've kind of made it. You're like a list, a list. Nah, I used to think that, but I feel like I'm seeing like Russell Westbrook was at the Met Gala. Uh. He's most definitely not. Yeah. Do you, like do you feel like it's going down? I feel like it used to be very, very like hard to get into and now just anyone can go not anyone but yeah, you know what i mean but it still seems like everybody goes so i i don't know that it's going down what is cockroach red carpet this is a cockroach i think it was I just a cockroach know. at at the met gala I don't know. yeah all right I mean, we're in new york yeah not surprising yeah like it wouldn't surprise me if, josh if you got invited to the met gala yeah that'd be cool i guess i i'd probably go too that'd be dope yeah, you see can't what not. people are doing. How yeah. did your see how I'm people sure are like the, the sheets later? Like, how did you get invited to announce one of the Bills' picks? Oh, oh, um, that's just through. So I work with Prime Video for their Thursday Night Football because they now own the rights for Thursday Night Football. So I did like that tour last year where I was just going and bringing um, eyeballs to to Prime Video, and then uh, through that started working closer with the NFL. NFL asked me what my favorite team was, Buffalo Bills. So I started working with their team, and then they asked me to come out and do the third round pick. I saw you get a decent amount of hate for that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Always, dude. Anytime I do something and I, like, cross over into the sports world, it's always like that. Because people are like, who's this fucking TikToker? Blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what yeah, I'm and I would say um, your image mm. is not what people would think of when they think of Bills Mafia. They're more thinking of like a sloppy, cold weather, not platinum blonde. Beer belly. Yeah. Hey, the, the like guy. Bills fans that were there, they loved it. W what is All going on? Right. My screen keeps shutting off. Oh, there it is. There's it's back. back. Oh, it's do back. You, do you lose it when, when I lose it? Do you lose it? No, no I don't. No. I, I've never lost loose, you. That's the display. So it's probably just a loose wire between the two of them. So I'm just a league leader in loose wires. <laughs> yeah, you, you are. A lot of you loose are. wires. <laughs> Interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Olivia Wilde and Margaret Zhang twin. Ooh, they both wore the same dress. I, they had to know that was happening, right? Olivia Wilde, the editor in chief of Vogue China, Ma uh, excuse me, the editor of Vogue China, Margaret Zhang showed up at the Met Gala in the same look, different colors. It kind of looks like they have a banjo on the front of them. Yeah, they do. I think that's what it's going for. Yeah. Oh, it is a banjo. Yeah. Or I think I saw it was supposed to be like a violin or something. Would you be pissed ah. if you're matching somebody to the Met Gala? Uh, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. At least it wasn't the same color. How do they not know that? It has to be a pretty unique dress. No, don't they like who's the designer here? Whoever the designer, don't they tell them like just heads up? I know. Someone shouldn't else just there be this? like you have to turn in what you're wearing so nobody shows up in the same thing? <laughs> By the way, shout out the editor in chief of Vogue China. She's stunning. She's like prettier than the actress. Yeah, cool hair too. Super cool hair. I I'm black and white. I don't know what's so cool about the hair. The hair's it, blue, dude. It's, it's yeah. It's dark oh, blue. you're in black and white, I, so you I, can't see. Yeah, it. I have black and white. Thanks, Austin. Um, <laughs> Wait, you should have bro, color. Bro, <laughs> upgrade to colored print. Black you and just white. Just made like oh, millions and millions. You just sold Barcelona. You don't have colored printing yet. Mm -hmm. How, I, I'm so far behind the eight ball on this podcast of things that my I mean, people, people, and I've seen people. Why is he so mean to Austin? Why is he so mean to Austin? Well, because I'm, I'm the, in the Flintstones here. I'm, I right, barely. I'll, I'm, I'll just move down to Miami and I'll just do everything. I mean, is it, you'll print this out. 
Well, I, I can't see it when I print it. Do you out. like do you like print it out and ship it to him, Austin, or how's that work? <laughs> I, I print it out remotely. What's up with this mug you got, Josh? You're just mug guy now. Like, I am a mug like... guy. Yeah, he came in all chipper, spitting jokes a, around, look, drinking look, out look. his mug. It's got a it's got a you... smiley face this week. Last week it said fattest ass. Next week I have a different mug that I'm going to bring on. I already have it picked out. Okay, oh, I'm a mug. I like mugs. I thought it was an old person thing. Um, nah, man, I've been getting into the mugs. No influencers at the Met. After influence like Ass and Ray, Dixie DeMello attended the Met in years past. This year's Met had no influence, uh, influencers outside of Emma Chamberlain, who was interviewing on the red carpet. The rumors influencers are not invited this year after a celebrity's complaint. Makes sense. They hate us because they ain't us, dog. Interesting. They hate us because they ain't us. I, I'd have to see the full list. Like I said, what Russell Westbrook, I mean, an NBA player, but like not a great one. He's a, he's a fashion guy, but... All right, let's see the looks. Let's get into the looks. There were some crazy Sweet. ones. Do you think? Do you think like it kind of makes sense that celebrities would look at TikTokers and be like, "Why the fuck are they here? What they do to get here?" Absolutely. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, right. I'm not, I'm not saying it's right, but, but I'm I saying I I totally understand why they'd have that outlook. Yeah, I feel like celebrities get mad that influencers can like climb like they can. Yeah. Ooh, she's my favorite, Dua Lipa. This was an A plus for me. I loved it. Uh, I can't. Mm. I've lost no HDMI signal. It's coming back. <laughs> Here we go. I'm back. Yeah, I thought. I thought this was great. Yeah, she looks incredible. Her and necklace. She's, it, it's like kind of the opposite of what you usually. I feel like see her. I like they're all classed up. Yeah. yeah. This is this is like some like Snow White stuff going on or something. Yeah, yeah very much so. Yeah. Good call. She looks Thank good. You. Emily. Blech, gross. Yeah. Don't call her hot. <laughs> what do you think, Dave? Gross. Yeah. Ugh. Those bangs? What is this? What, what yeah. are you doing with those bangs? Looks like you're wearing a gross-ass wig. Yeah, yeah. You tell her. You tell Next. her. Not hot. I think Get she looks here. great. Okay. I actually, gross, I actually, great. I actually don't. I actually didn't. I, like, all jokes aside. Gross. I'm not joking. Gross. <laughs> well, well, I don't know, dude. Uh, I, I would just say I don't like that fit. I don't think I actually like that outfit. I like the gross. fit. I don't like the hair. I don't know Everything if I like that outfit. Everything about it disgusts me on a... On a gross level it's gonna be so funny when people clip this out of context and <laughs> they just you dissing on her oh that's uh, fucking hilarious Gigi Hadid not my favorite look here yeah I actually mm. really don't like it at all yeah very Avril Lavigne yeah uh, good call Josh you're on fire day with the uh, comparison dude, Snow thank White you, man. Avril Lavigne yeah thank you man you gotta hit I, it for everyone now <sighs> what a day oh this is your girl don't Josh like, don't I like this no either. They're all trying to do the Lagerfeld, though. That's like, yeah. I mean, the when theme. you when you think of it in that sense, it kind of looks like him, almost like the dress, if that makes any sense. But I don't like it on her. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of boring. Yeah, her face wow, looks really pretty. Train is ginormous. I don't know how boring. Oh, there's a dog in the back. Huge train. Where? Oh, there's oh, a I dog see, in the back. I do see the dog. Yeah. You think it's, it's a service? A service pet? Yeah, probably. They should okay. have put him in a little like suit or something. That would have been Not, the best look of the entire Met Gala. Yeah. They always steal it. Yeah, next. Margot Robbie. I, I mean, she's gorgeous, but yeah, I but don't I, like the fit. Guys, I, I'm kind of looking at a lot of these outfits and like, not good. That's what comes to my head. I know. I yeah, they're again, they're going for the Lagerfeld, but it, it, yeah, I don't love it. Usher. No. Cool shoes, I guess. I what, what, yeah. yeah, he's he's going a little like I don't even it's like he's yeah. just walking to work in New York in the winter. Does he have his pinky ring on over his gloves? He does. Yeah. It's crazy. Pedro Pascal. I mean I love it, this man. He's so funny to me, but it looks like like a three musketeer or something. What is yeah. what is going on? I love it. Honestly, I love it. I know yeah, cause because he would him. rock that. Yeah. But it's not a good look. But he's doing something with it. Dave, how much would someone have to pay you for you to wear this on a red carpet? I mean, not much, I guess. <laughs> what do I care? Like, it's, you know, it's a unique look. If I give you, like, four Cane's meals, would you do it? Yeah, probably. Anita, <laughs> I like it. I think Anita actually looks pretty good. Also yeah, sort of I looks like, like the $100,000 Dalmatian movie, The Evil Woman. Yeah. Great call. Great call. Hundred comparison. Dalmatians. <laughs> I feel like she does this 
I feel like we've seen this. She before. is so addicted to train. Yeah. That's an interesting statement. Yeah, it is. Um, Very interesting. What right? do you mean? She has so much train going on all the time. She loves her train. I don't like this look. Yeah, Are you point. disagreeing with me on the train thing? I feel like we just flew by it. I feel like she honestly never has a train. I think she's train. training. She has a lot of train a lot of times. She's pretty much a train conductor. All right. I don't like how there's two people in the photo. Ten plus. I saw this in gas yesterday. This is the best look I saw. Ah, oh, I don't really love it. Oh, go home. <laughs> It's like it's what do you mean you don't love seven it? point well, that's seven great point eight it. for me. It's just awesome. I don't know what it's just captivating to the eyes. Uh, I don't know. The bottom half kind of looks like a puff. I like how her bag is matching that bottom. The top is dark, centrist. Come on now. The bottom half literally looks like a nicotine device. Oh, it does. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't like the bottom. Maybe that's device. it. I don't smoke, so I don't know what that means. Good man. Next horrible I mean, this is horrible yeah it's kind of terrifying a little bit but i don't know it's it looks cool like, i don't know it's like yeah it's, is this fashion i don't know like what is this is he is he a cat i can't tell that's not a cat but he's meowing he in his interviews all, all, all yeah i think he is supposed to be a cat but that i don't know what kind of cat you could cat. say that's a cat mask, glitter maybe. cat yeah i yeah, think I yeah i don't know how many of these do we got Man, a million? I was trying to find I'm another good positive. comparison for this one. What? I'm not Lacking. positive how many we have. Okay, continue. Oh, I, I love this. I kind of, I kind of like this. I like this. This is cool. It's really cool for a guy. I feel like you can't do too much as a guy, so he kind of yeah, outdid I mean, himself. I like that. Like, looks like a villain in a movie, but yeah. Okay. Oh, Pete, I don't like it. Also looks like he's the villain in like kind of a villain comedy rom com type situation. Yeah, like, he's like a uh, bad villain. He wants to like be bad, he, but he can't. Yeah, he, he's in like um, what is that little girl kick ass? He looks like he yeah, could be he's a villain exactly in kick ass. Exactly that guy. Yeah. I like it. I, I like love this. it. Yeah, I love yeah. Cardi B's. Good job, Cardi B. Yeah, she, she killed that. What are flowers a big theme? I've Most seen a lot of flowers. Person probably going. Her, her, or um, the girl from Euphoria. The give me your, give me your ice females. spice take. Give me your ice spice take right now, Dave. Overrated. That's it. Just you. Just think she's overrated. Her music. Yeah. What do you think about her I, music? I don't even know listen her to music. her. Like, so then, how can you say she's overrated? I feel like I meant like people act like she's the sexiest, most beautiful woman who's ever walked the face of the earth. I think it's just people like as a package, people love her. She's like adorable. I don't know her music, or maybe I do know her music, and I don't know that I know her music. You've got to know it. I bet you've heard at least two songs. They All play right. like well, daily. Give me, give me, give me uh, her uh, one of her better. I would songs. give you a lyric, but her All play I her can think of is main one. A munch. What's what's that whole song, Brie? That was her first viral one. Yeah, but I you, we can't really say any of those words. No, but before or after? Do a do, munch. She just came out a with Nicki Minaj, Boys a Liar, Princess Diana. I think you probably know Boys a Liar, right? Yeah, he Dave will know Boys a Liar, I think. What's that one again? That uh, Boys a Liar. She's just so cute. Look at her. But this isn't her singing. She's coming soon. Should I know the song by now? Yeah, you don't know it? No, never heard it. Do you know the do you know the ice spice part? Where is it? Come on, Ice Spice. Can't believe Does you don't know sing? this. 109 this million views in two months. This girl is a butter. Like that boy is a Say any Never heard of it. Damn, never still number it. 21 in top music videos. You know what? Yeah. That's a dub. Congrats, Ice Spice. Yeah, she's a queen. Can't hate no, I never. Uh, <laughs> who is, you know who I like? Who do you like? Who do you like? Give me a second because I put it on my um, Miley Cyrus playlist. 
Wait, did you see that Miley Cyrus? Dave, did you see the thing where Miley Cyrus put out another album on Spotify under like a secret name and then deleted it? No. It was crazy. It was pretty good too. Why'd she do that? I don't know. She hasn't said anything about it, but it like it was totally her and her voice, and then it got wiped from Spotify. I should have sent it to you. I like Coley Larray. Coley Larray, yeah, I love her. She's She's, awesome. She gives me Ice Spice vibes. Except on Ice Spice can wish. <laughs> you haven't listened to any of Ice Spice's music. I just did. That, I did. that wasn't I her. I did song. just. He did Fine. just. You know what? I'm gonna after this show. I'm gonna. I'll come, I'll report back next week. I'll give Ice Spice a fair shake. Okay. Facts. Give her a shake. Give her a okay. fair shake. Next. Ooh, I love that. Penelope Cruz. I like this. I like it. It's like mm. elegant. It's like it's not like my favorite, but it's not my least favorite for sure. What do we do when people listen to this as a podcast? They just <laughs> are like fast forward through this part of the That's program? a good question, Dave. Do we have to I describe? All right, that. guys. So it's white and she has a headdress on and a little bit of clean. It's really show, But not too much. Not too much. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, so should we just stop? Okay. I, I feel like they got nine gazillion of these. Like There's That's why I asked. Them. I just checked. Ten? Yeah, so let's go faster. She yeah. looks good. I Yo, mean, looks like she's just at a Great. Club. Seven and a half, a half. Go, next one. Ooh, bad bunny. Uh, I like this. 8.1. 6.6. Oh, 10, 10, 10 and a half 1. away. 1.8. Yeah, I'm, I'm going 6.7. Kendall Jenner. Ooh, 9.2. 1. 1.1. 1. <laughs> yeah, like a, like a three. Hated it. Don't like. By that. the way, don't have she your looks ass unreal. out like that. Like at the Met Gala. Yeah, this is this is this isn't fucking live on Sunday. It's the Met Gala. Come on, come on. We're not donating theme. cheeks. Lizzo. I thought I thought fat people didn't like Lagerfeld. I think we were using the wrong bigger term in the beginning. Got it. Celebrities. I think she looks great. Nine seven. Yeah, I'll give her a eight two. Yeah. I kind of like how she matched the gloves, which are Lagerfield gloves with like beads in the front. Very good. I'm going to go with a 7-8. She looked great, but this is my other overrated physically. Sydney Sweeney. Yeah. Uh, she's, she looks really good, though. 7-2. She looks great here. But. Yeah, I was going to say like a 7-4. Like a Giselle. Oh, I don't like it. I don't hate it. 4.2. 7-9. Uh, six nine. Olivia Rodrigo. Ooh, this is cool. Eight point five. Hate the hair. Hate the hair. Yeah. Don't dress like the hair cool. at all. No. Um, dress is cool. Dress is dope. Are we just doing dress? Dress is like an eight two. Entire package like five nine. Yeah, I'm giving the dress a nine three. Yeah, dress is really cool. Really cool. Whoa. Emma Chamberlain. Seven two. It looks better in videos. Yeah, I seven, saw the videos seven, and I thought one. she looked good. Like, it I doesn't was... it doesn't photograph well. Patrick and Brittany Mahomes. Oh, they were there. Oh, it's boring. As hell. <laughs> four. Uh, I kind of just five. Yeah, one? like a three four. Three point four. There, there's no, there was nothing to those. That was just a suit right. dress. That, that, that outfit could be for any. That was anything, like yeah. that looks like that looks wedding. like an NFL honors or something. Yeah, like it looks that, like you know? at a wedding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Paris Hilton. I think ooh, I like eight point two. The eight, shoes are three. crazy. Paris always be killing it. Yeah, the necklace, I love it. Remember eight, when seven. you were gonna get her on BFFs and just didn't? Yeah, what the fuck? That. I kept saying I was gonna do it. I was gonna do it. Yeah. Who me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. I think I did ask, and then she just was like impossible to schedule with. Reach back out. Yeah, we'd like to have her on. Okay, okay. okay. I love her. I love She's Janelle Monae. I fucking love it, but I hate the the ones in the middle. But I kind of like the one on the left. Are we gonna say it's all the same one? Uh, yeah, I think it's like a whole look. That bag is something. That sh- those shoes are crazy. She also looks sick. like a bad guy in a hundred Dalmatians. Yeah, she does. I'm giving this like at least a nine point two. Woo! She really did it. I'm gonna do like I'm eight, go eight, seven. Seven three. What? On the yeah, because I don't I don't know what's going on in the middle two. I just like the creativity. I just think it looks sick. 
Yeah, the one on the left does. The red, but it's like all there. part of it, you know. I man, don't get it's the, like I don't get the lift up part. That's what I mean. She started in the nines and then she lost a couple points because I got confused. Oh, she looks like the lady from Robots. Oh, Aubrey Plaza. Uh, she looked great. I give her nine point two. She also looks like this could almost be so. Carl Lagerfeld. If I'm gonna sum up his um creative career and everything he stands for i think i can nail it in two words black and white yeah black and white for sure yeah <laughs> aubrey plaza she's hilarious i love her i'm giving her a eight six yeah she seven just, five she just makes everything good i just i can't give her lower than an eight no, billy she's... eilish killed that shit i saw some videos that looked incredible of her yeah i'm gonna go eight six on this i think yeah. it was cool yeah. yeah eight i was gonna do like eight eight kind of has um that, that what is that uh, Angela Jolie, Maleficent. Uh, no. I don't know. What do you She's saying? a superhero. What, yeah, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. I thought it was Maleficent. No. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the the Marvel one. Eternals. Yeah. Eternals. No. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. Okay, move along. Moving on. Florence Pugh, I love her. Isn't this the girl that was with like Harry Styles? Yeah, they they were um in a movie together. They were. Close they friends. all just look like they're in a hundred Dalmatians. They do. Yeah, it is very a hundred Dalmatians. That's a crazy I, headpiece. She also shaved yeah. her head for it. What I mean, the, head, the head? The headpiece is dumb. Shaving heads is really like a thing now, huh? Yeah, she's, yeah. and she's got. You have to have like a face like that to pull off a shaved head. Like she gorgeous, only few gorgeous can face. do it. Only few have the face to do it. Yeah. But I don't. That almost looks like what I expect at like a in the in the crazy section of the Kentucky Derby with like roses. I don't know. I don't like it on her head. Yeah, Ooh, I really like the dress though. The dress is pretty me too. For me. And her yeah. face is killing it, but it's like the headpiece no go. No go. I'm gonna go six two. Go eight five. I'm gonna do a seven three. I, oh, just we've just had just more than ten. Just yeah, there was twelve. Just saying, we've had <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, many. Yeah, yeah. Everyone that's listening to this podcast has left minutes ago. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. No or they, they're fast forwarded. Correct. All right. There we go. Smart. <laughs> um, all right. Moving on. Morgan Wall and canceled concert after hanging out with Livy. Uh, Livy Dunn. Morgan Wall was under fire last week after canceling his concert minutes before he's set to come on in Mississippi. Morgan let the stadium fill and first asked come on and perform before canceling, announcing he needed to go on vocal rest. There were other rumors starred by security guards at the venue saying they were too hungover drunk to perform security guard comments. Um, okay. What are security guard comments? You said he couldn't walk. He couldn't walk. Did that, did that lose his voice? Yeah. Yeah. So, but he, he could, was too drunk. Yep. Too drunk. Too drunk in the ambulance took him off. I thought that's what fucking happened. So, I swear. Yeah. Hey, we, we, we got to talk about that like head uh, security. Last night we let the liquor talk. That's wild. So that guy's telling the truth. Yeah, 100%. Like that, he was caught. He, that guy did, had no intention of going. I hadn't seen that. But like anybody who has any radar on somebody telling the truth, that guy was telling the truth. He didn't even know she was recording either. Right. And he wasn't like trying to make a story out yeah. of it. Um, Barstool has a relationship with Morgan. That's an all-time cocksucker move. We should have. We should have asked to have him on. I don't know if he would after that. But yeah, that's a dick move if that. And I believe that guy later came out. Morgan was allegedly hanging out with Livy Dunn the night before the concert. Livy attended the concert the night before and posted TikTok to a Morgan Wallen song. Um Morgan Wall hooked up, and then there's Demoxamoy. Uh, Morgan Wall hooked up with Livy Dunn Saturday night in Oxford. Livy's TikTok Morgan song. Does this have? All right, let's see it. That's irrelevant. 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 All right. Bye. One woman who attended the concert, Morgan owes her for what she spent to attend the concert outside tickets, including their outfits, gas, hotel charges, and more. I did see that. Um, what do you think on that, Dave? You think they should have to have to give the people the money or what? Yeah. Yes. If you get if you, that drunk, if, if you can prove and that, like it was something within his control, he was irresponsible, and got shit faced, was fucking Livy done in a different whatever the case may be. If it's something within his control, yeah, you that like pe that person's correct. You make a plan a trip around going to a concert spend money your hard-earned dollars like not everybody has money growing on trees that's a big deal for a lot of people and yeah. for somebody to be that callous yeah i think morgan wall does owe 
Well, yeah, yeah you look at, at this girl's email. At least for the email. tickets, right? Well, the tickets, I'm sure, get refunded no matter the what. The tickets got refunded. Yeah. Those but, like, if you get a hotel and you, like, fly and all, again, the shit happens. Like, you can lose your voice. You can get strep throat. You can get, I don't know, a whole host of things that I would say, no harm, no foul. Yeah. Being shit-faced the night before and being too drunk to perform, no, you owe those people who spent money to see you. I do believe that, yes. I, I will say, I will say, and just, you know, playing a little defense here, just because two people post a TikTok together doesn't mean they banged. You know what I'm saying? So, Oh, I, I have no idea if that, any of that's true. That's just to putting me, that out there. He could have just, like, actually been sick, maybe. I don't know. Wait, did they? Well, the security the security guard wasn't talking to Livy Dunn. Yeah. No, but the security guard was talking to the what? The girls saying that Morgan was Wallen shit-faced. was shit faced because he was with girls. Oh, I didn't think he. I thought he just said. I didn't see the girl part. But whatever. I mean, he didn't said. What did Morgan Wallen actually say? The reason was his voice. He said. So he didn't say he got like sick. Right? No, he posted on a story after last night's show. I started losing my voice, so I spent the day resting up, talking to my doctor, and working through my vocal exercises, trying to get better. I really thought I'd be able to take the stage, and it kills me to deliver so close to a showtime. But my voice is shot, and I'm unable to sing. All tickets will be refunded at point of purchase. I'm so sorry. I promise you guys, I tried everything I could. And then let's see what the security guard said again. And again, we're just taking his word, but yeah, he seemed pretty authentic. You said he couldn't walk. He could walk. Did that, did that lose his voice? Yeah. Yeah. So, but he, he could, he could walk. Yep. Take your arm. Take your arm. And the ambulance took him off. I thought that's what fucking happened. So. I saw yeah. Him. Yeah. I, we, we got told by head uh, security. Last night we the he didn't say girls. He didn't so, say anything about girls. That was my. I thought I heard girls, but I think it was just drunk with the yeah, accent. Accent. Yeah, and he he was very much he he's like he's saying he he saw. My vibe is he saw what happened. Yeah, and the and, ambulance took him off too drunk. Yeah, and and that's not what Morgan said at all. Like he has a totally different version of events. So somebody is not telling the truth there. I would tend to go with the security guard. In which case, I do think fans have every right to be fucking irate. Yeah. Like you're paying your money. You don't hear this very often. No. Especially he's like huge. He's a megastar. Yeah. And what like megastars don't. It's very rare. Taylor Swift for, hasn't missed a show. Cur, that, nobody big misses shows. Like, like they don't. They figure out a way. You don't hear like uh, you lost your voice. For, he hasn't been that big that long. For that to happen this quick makes me tend not to believe his version of events. Yeah. So the company what, the security it, guard worked for said that their false claims and the CEO of Wallen's record reposted and said, thank you for correcting your employee who made up an entire story that was nowhere close to true. Correct. Now, that guy's going to get means fucked. Nothing. That means that means nothing. nothing. Yeah. yeah. Because you're like the security guard that is employed in a huge contract like there's just no, why would that guy fucking lie in that situation? Yeah. It, it, it seems like very little reward is going to come yeah, right. from lying about this. Like, right. I honestly feel bad for him now. He probably lost his job and everything, right? Like, like you said, yeah. I, I couldn't tell he knew he was going to record. I think he was just trying to have an honest, who knows? We'll never know the truth. I'm just going by, there's tours and tours and tours. And it's very rare you hear somebody on that level being like, sorry, an entire concert we canceled like the second, the second before you because the yeah. the openers came out and everything like people yeah, were waiting for it never him. happens i so think the last time i saw something like this was what the weekend didn't he didn't he like leave a sh- didn't something happen where he tried to perform and then it was like three saw and he was like like it just sounded terrible he couldn't do it and he was like guys i'm sorry like i tried i tried everything and he had to leave i don't remember that i remember kanye like the night that kim got robbed like walking off stage but you expect shit like that from Kanye. Uh, my, my vibe is when you hear about it, it it's generally you hear it's like, oh, I can see it from that person. And you don't believe that person. Yeah. Well, it's like so. Frank Ocean stuff earlier at Coachella. Yeah, right. So at least he showed up. The he weekend did. said the same thing like in LA last year or something like that. It was the exact same thing. I just looked it up. It was his, his he voice. Lost his voice. But yeah, he did. Yeah. You're right. We watched in the show. He did like three songs in and like his voice was literally falling apart. He's like, I'm sorry, guys. I think he did a redo or show. Oh. Yeah, and even with that, wouldn't you, if you're Morgan Wallen, 
walk out on stage and yeah like, yeah you get more credibility if you're like there yeah and you're like my voice is gone i'm here i'm ready to go i can't do it and it would there also could be no show people made up. right yeah it would show people your voice is gone because you'd be talking and be like God, yeah I'm here, or like you said the talk. weekend who apparently went out but to do a message that late it it certainly adds a little bit of doubt also not even like a video he could have he should have done a video yeah, yeah. The yeah. black because people gave the weekend i think i saw the comments on tiktok i think at the start people were mad and then it really changed the narrative and people were like guys like he's been doing show after show trying to do like two two shows back to back then one day off two shows back to back like he's trying to give us as much as he can he got sick there's yeah. nothing you can do he's about sick. that he has pipes he's gonna too. make it up <laughs> like and, and and even again well, this is mr time but you go back when like bands are like motley crew and shit they're partying every night but they're they play like they were there they, weren't, like, they never there. stopped man yeah molly yeah. crew would have never stopped a show because they were sick dude yeah, they would have so. just Stevie done would, like, like some drugs stage and, and moved on singing. yeah uh, all right uh moving along who knows well i guess we'll never know the true well if you want to text livy are you on the be like hey we're talking morgan wallen and guess what people are saying you were with him the night before he missed true false was he drunk hey, we talking what, like, like morgan wallen <laughs> were you with him the night before concert dot 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 get a little too drunk maybe <laughs> question mark i won't tell anyone i swear well i'm not, I'm not a liar Bree. <laughs> Um, while we wait for that answer, Alex Earl has trouble making friends after the uh, after the Tark trip. Bree, Alex Earl went on Instagram Live <laughs> upset, saying that it's hard to make friends when you're in her position, and p people believe it could be about her friend Topher, who she brought as a plus one on the trip. Fans believe Topher seemed like he made himself the center of attention on the trip. Alex posted TikTok while on the trip with her friend Topher, pushed pushing her that people felt was a little too serious wait tofer pushed her alex ended up leaving the tart trip early because of the drama she didn't leave early i thought it no right? that's not well, true you're, you're, you're the expert she yeah, left yeah brie give us the drama she left because she had finals she's like she was already she stayed longer than she should have and then she left right. yeah she didn't leave early because of drama so then what it so what's she talking about not she did she posted tiktok saying oh he, I think we have the clip yeah, of the TikTok. The let's, let's watch, watch it. We have the push, not the Instagram live. Oh. That's... Oh. Please. These gays. They're trying to murder me. Make a PJ. What? I don't know what we're talking about. The today, speculation but... there is crazy. I mean, he's, Topher was absolutely crazy, but I mean, she that's her like best friend. She brought him. Yeah. And so like, how was the Tark trip? It was the best weekend ever. It was awesome. I thought you and Silvana had beef. Why? Because there was no content with you two together. I day. know. No, I was real. Damn. I was like, there must have been something. <laughs> I I know. I was guess we just really weren't hanging out too much. It's because Bree was trying to get all clouded up with the Stassi baby group. No, because... No, I was kind of just doing my own thing. I was chilling yep, with everyone. Yep. No, Brie was hanging out with Tana the whole time. I saw it, Dave. She was doing her own class. I saved Silvana one night, and I brought her to Tana's mm. room. We just weren't really recording together. Look, now she's what making you now she's you making you your girlfriends her? with Tana. Look what she's doing, Dave. What she's do you trying mean to you infiltrate your house. Well, she was just she was just wasted, and yeah, she like she fell and hurt herself. So I was like, well, yeah, I'm gonna that's take what you happens bed. when when the responsible one is not there. It's like. She, she, she didn't even tell me. I just saw stuff on like social media. She had like band aids and shit on. Yeah, I mean, I'm in the same boat. I have injuries as well. Yeah, I heard you flipped a golf cart. Uh, I didn't flip a golf cart, but someone else did that was driving, and I. Fell Why do I feel it. like every time girls drink in a group, they always end up bleeding? Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of blood. <laughs> like, why does that always end up happening? Yeah, I don't know. So no bad, no bad blood. No, I just texted her today and asked her if she was going to F1. Just making sure. That's um, good, though. That's good. So no inside scoops for us, eh, Brie, from the Tarte trip? It's no, the first thing I ask Josh. I go, give me all the tea. Because all all I hear, tea that I don't give a fuck. It's like she's on this trip. She's like, there's no tea. I was like, what are you talking about? There's that's no so, tea. What, that's such Silvana? a lie, Dave. There really was no tea. Nah, that she's lying, Dave. She's lying. They probably made a little, like, friendship pact, and now they're not going to tell us. And she's sacrificing our show for her new No, friends, there was no drama. BFFs. There was no drama at all. None. 
There really was no drama, I swear. You're telling me seven of like the biggest female influencers got in a room, got drunk, nothing was talked about. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> there, I Fucking swear, maybe hot, the first one, because Alex says there was drama and people were being mean. But on the second one, everyone was just friends. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, Jack Carlo says he's the second best white rapper of all time. I see he's getting some heat for that. Because I mean, everyone's that's a tough, what, you just forget about Mac Miller? Yeah, that's a tough, tough statement, I feel like, when Mac Miller's in the conversation as well. And Vanilla and Ice. it's always worse because he, he passed, so it's like... True, true. And there's Vanilla Ice, just going back to that. <laughs> ice, ice, baby. Um, Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell may not be together. Glenn Powell's girlfriend, Gigi Paris, confirmed she and Glenn have split after posting on Instagram with the caption, know your worth, and on to the next. However, it seems Sydney Sweeney is still with her rumored fiancé, Jonathan Davino, after the two made a rare public appearance together last Friday on date night. Sydney noticeably seemed a little, seemed a bit less happy with her fiancé than she had been with Glenn Powell. Yeah, she's all, oh, that's, you got, that's I mean, tough. was that our caption to write it that way, though? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, that, yeah. That's, I, I mean, like, but, we're, we're but creating, I mean, that, like, narratives They could have been now. together for, like, for a long time and you just snap pictures when he's not like they're on the red carpet in the other one they're just walking down the street yeah we, like i'll you, tell you this show now nah, this bfs <laughs> we do people fucking dirty I sometimes know. we do man because like they're literally on the red carpet like everyone's snapping like hey you're always geez, like smile on the red carpet you're always like giddy and you know yeah, you're yeah. putting on a show for the people and you got to show like hey our characters get along and shit you know we're good for the movie press and then the one time maybe this guy just didn't crack a joke. Maybe he just didn't. He didn't have something. They're funny just walking to say. out at dinner. They're and pretty they're just full. walking out the car and they're like, mm, mm, mm. "Oh, look at how unhappy this guy yeah. makes her. <laughs> how miserable she is." I bet you that Devin's gonna have an amazing headline for this on BFS. <laughs> Devin just out there like fucking in a cave, just trying to ruin people. Yeah, um, yeah. every relationship she sees, she's like, "Yeah." Over. She waits like all day that till they just don't she, have this. She usually huge captures smile. the sentiment of the internet. I bet there were people saying yeah. that she looks much happier with Glenn than. What are you two dating now, Austin? You <laughs> yeah, <know>? Austin, <laughs> you're defending your your your. <laughs> Taylor Swift concert, Tampa Bay Bucks owner Taylor Swift experience. Not surprising. She performed at Bucks Stadium. He put together this crazy suite. Um, which that's what you do when you own the box. Kelly Keegs, who works for us, pitched me on the experience. Would I ever do it? Uh, yeah, I probably can't afford it. It's like those tickets are nuts to begin with getting a suite, but it was cool. And then I also saw this video. This was awesome. The video of the Swifties leaving her concert. It was I didn't awesome. see this. I didn't see this. So I didn't awesome. see this either. Oh, it kind of got the chills a little bit. <laughs> oh, so that's sick. so cool. That's that is cool. so cool. That's really like, cool. Why aren't the yeah. boyfriends getting into it, though? They look so angry with life. I don't know. Maybe they don't Are know the lyrics. Guys, yeah, like, wake up. You're at the concert of a fucking lifetime. And yeah, for like, real. Wait, are you go are you going to a concert, Dave? I don't I don't have plans yet. I I've lost you again. I don't know if that matters. Nice job, Austin. Um, I <laughs> I don't have plans yet. I don't know. She's not coming to Miami, so I just got to figure out one to go to. I'd like to. I feel like I, you I, have to go. I know. Yeah. I know. I'd I I want to. Um, That'd be a also, moment too. Mad people would capture you there at the at the concert. You know what I mean? I'd like have a every great time. Oh, you. I yeah. guess what I mean. I think people would see you doing your little. Little jig or something, you know what I mean? Shaking it off. Yeah, you like, and Savannah twirling around. <laughs> I go on too many dates. Swifties. I can't make them stay. This was also funny. The Swifties are a fucking army, man. I mean, they're scary. They are, dude. They're not scary. Uh, no, no, pretty but. scary. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that girl in the red dress. So that girl in the red dress was gone. I just, Damn. She's, she's a monster. She's a rock yep. star. No one like uh, her. Zendaya and Timothy Chamelet promoted Dune at CinemaCon. Who cares? Well, probably Brie. Oh, they just look, they look beautiful. 
Brie separately, probably cares. Separately, to, they look beautiful. Trying to, trying to ruin more relationships and shit. Listen, Zendaya is not Timothy Chalamet's type. If Timothy Chalamet is into Kylie Jenner, no, Timothy Chalamet would never be into <laughs> Zendaya if she's into Kylie. He's into Kylie Jenner. Yeah, two totally Tennis different Slimane people. Right one's one's a uh, superstar generational icon, and the other is like uh, front Timothy page of E News. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're talking about the girls that Timothy Chalamet is, likes. Correct. His taste okay. in women. Right. Uh, One Direction reunion over the last episode of the James Corden show. Harry Styles revealed that he would never say never to. Of course, One Direction is going to have a, a all reunion. these fans at some point do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, that would be pretty cool. I, I performed uh, What Makes You Beautiful in my talent show when I was in grade four. Aww. I had a band. Do we have I footage of that? a band that I put together. We probably could find some eventually, but I, kept, I bet you I could find some. But yeah, we, we made a band called Four for Four. It was a genius idea because we were in grade four. Wendy there was four Stone. of us like guys. That. Four of us guys for four girls. You know what I'm huh. saying? Four for four. Four for four. Very, very in, 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 ingenious. Just the thank word you. I'm looking for. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, BFF's Corner presented by Hey Dude. Quick commercial break. So Hey Dude makes one of the most comfortable shoes that are so comfortable they make your feet and your day better. So all of their products are unbelievably lightweight, astonishingly easy to put on, slip on. So there's no tying involved. There's no tying necessary. A ton of variety, whether it's prints, colors, materials, or styles. There's a look for everyone. They have some for girls. They have some for guys. They have camo. They have shoes, a range of products from tried and true styles. The Wendy Wally, that's the one I like, to a new line of casual sneakers, Sirocco, Cody, Conway, and Sunapi. The new ones I think I was wearing in the ad we did were the Sirocco so those are super cool. Sirocco is the all new sneaker from Hey Dude. Some amazing Hey Dude comfortable in a more athletic look that provides a cushiony and grippy step. Also new to Hey Dude collection, Sun and P, Cody and Conway. Uh, brand new styles, same legendary cu cushy comfort. Their shoes are lightweight and ideal for travel. I was actually at the airport and I spotted a, a group of guy wearing Hey Dudes and I sent the video to Austin. So that was cool. Check out more styles at HeyDude.com. Shop now at HeyDude.com. Super lightweight, unbelievably comfortable, astonishingly easy to put on. So Brie went on the tart trip we talked about, Turks Caicos or tart. She made best with Tana, Stasi, Baby, and Victoria Variel. Yeah, you were clout farming. I don't think so. I mean, what do you mm. expect? I'm going on a trip with a bunch of influencers. What am I supposed to not talk to anyone? No. I didn't say that as a nice <laughs> I don't know. You guys are like making me look like bad because I was hanging out with people on the trip i just read the headline brie went to turks and caicos with tart where she made besties with tana stassi baby and victoria Varia. i've already been pretty close with tana brie seemed to be the life of the party but I left mean, with some yeah, battle scars of course. um josh oh, we man. talked about this you did the pick and you got into it and it's a tough thing to do this because you were right on the edge of cornball wait i didn't see this yeah, it's a big deal. I, everyone was sending it to me. <laughs> Everybody. Yo, what is up, Bills Mafia? <laughs> Do you hear people? Okay. See, okay, Bills fans like it. With the booing, all right? I got a lot of love for you, too. You got some of the best barbecue in America, all right? You guys did win the Super Bowl last year, led by Patrick Mahomes. But that was last year, and this is this year, all right? Oh boy. This crap pick in my hands. Oh boy, the commentator, oh boy. With an old boy. Go to the Super Bowl and win it all. So without further ado, with the 91st pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select Dorian Williams, linebacker, Tulane. Let's go. Yo, that was pretty fire, dude. It's a tough ask. It is. It's a very – I thought about it, like what I would do. It is a – He's in Kansas City. It's a tough thing to do. He's got a tough look for the Bills. You're not a pro typical like looking Bills fan. It's a tough thing to do. Did yeah, you see I, the Bengals guy did really good? The, I, the Bengals. I didn't fan, see the Bengals guy. No, Bengals you didn't. Fan did you didn't mess good. up on any of your words though. It was like very clean. You did good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's a tough thing to do. It's right on the edge. Like I know. I don't. I wish. I, for that, I almost wish I didn't know you. And I could have gotten, like, my reaction if it's, like, just no, having no clue who you were. Right. Like, I knew who you were, so I view it differently. It's like, oh, this is kind of funny. But, yeah, I was like, that's yeah. Jay. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was stunned. You were, I was hyped. You were hyped up. <laughs> firing videos to me is like your boys announcing the Bills pick. Because yeah. obviously football, the Bills, that's all, like, super my demo. Um, no, for sure, yeah. for sure. I mean, I got a lot of, like, people, like, when I was there at the draft being, like, Tell Dave the Patriots suck, you know, yeah, like shit exactly like that. Right, yeah. So, so like for sure, like I know that's your debt. But like, I think that's what like has helped me a little bit when I go to those events 
not get like just absolutely fucking Whoa. targeted. You know what I'm saying? Like there's points obviously where like Kansas City, Buffalo, they're going to boo. Sports, TikTok, they're going to boo, which like I expect that. But I think there's no way to but there's no way to question. cross over unless you do it like slowly but surely. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you got to eventually. You, but here's the minute. What were you doing with your Twitter profile? It had the dolphins. Oh, your- dude. That's not even like a bit. People fucking overreact over everything. Bro, I did a tour of the dolphin stadium like two years ago. But that's I'm- not if you don't know who you are and you're like, who the fuck's this guy? And then you go to your Twitter and you're yeah, yeah, no, dolphins. I get it, I get it, but I kind of thought I was like, ah, oh, it's just gonna get more clicks now. Like every video is just gonna get more clicks and comments, so it's kind of funny. But uh, yeah, we just did a tour of the Dolphin Stadium. Like they just yeah, like, I remember whatever. Yeah, yeah, and it's like I don't use Twitter. I might yeah. tweet like once a fucking blue moon. You know what I mean? Like I never really go on the app. It was never really like a thing I used. Never really like tweet. I might tweet like I tweeted when my ver- verification got taken away. I said fuck a blue check mark, and then I got it back. I haven't tweeted, you know, like I just don't really tweet. Sticking with Josh, making national news, uh, your Rolling Stone named you top 20 yeah. most influential creators and called you a himbo. Fuck this backhanded a himbo? fucking magazine, bro. An Fuck this backhanded unintelligent ass man. shit. What? Like, every single, like, they did this to every guy in the article, bro. Kai, he got backhanded compliment. I got backhanded compliment, but it's like. Whatever, the dude. That's what Rolling mogul? Stone does. Listen, That's what buddy, Rolling Stone he, does. I, he, he, what they said, he par, he parlayed his piercing blue eyes, emotional eyebrows, and Ted on lip syncs to uh, take a surprising career turn as a bona fide Gen Z entrepreneur. Listen, I don't care. You can say I, I killed the Pope if you're going to say I have piercing blue eyes in the same <laughs> sentence. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, and- I, think, I think it's like... A- I think it's like a. I think they're kind of, kind of just trying to be funny. You know what I mean? Like I think they're just like kind of playing around. But I also read that and I was like, "What the fuck, dude?" Project verified. Um, tonight, yeah. in other news, yeah, our show comes out tonight. That's a happy thing. Excited to see it. Yeah, I'm excited too. Should be good. So tune in, <laughs> cool everybody. Enough. Tune in. I'll be watching. I can't wait. Um, so that that you guys have a high. That sweatshirt's cool. This one. Silvana came in with that one too, the bar one. Yeah, what and color did that. she get? Did we all get the same colors? Same color as that. Yeah. Yeah. They're like sold out know. everywhere. Tark got them for all of us. <sighs> no kidding. Yeah. Very cool. Um, okay. That's the show. Uh, mm. Welcome to Project Verified. So there will be a twist. You guys are gonna have to be picking amongst yourselves the one person you guys like the least and are gonna be sending home. <laughs> oh my God. No fucking way. <laughs> That's fucked up. These 10 people showed up to the house as strangers. We had them say one line to describe themselves in front of everyone. They had no idea their first impression would lead to one of them going home. My name's Connor Fallon, represent St. Louis, Missouri. I'm here to fuck bitches and get money. <laughs> hey, I'm Liz, I'm 22, and I'm here because I'm the perfect combo of hot and crazy. My name's Alexi, I'm 23 years old. I'm just a coastal elite, chronically online, post-woke podcaster and socialite. Hey, what's going on? I'm Noah, I'm 26, and I'm here to get that fucking money, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lila Gibney, I'm 24 years old, and I'm kind of known for like going out, being unhinged, and doing the most crazy shit. So I'm here to stay sexy and win some cash. My name is Brad Kraut, I'm 22 years old, and I'm here to motivate this crew. We're about to get through this, we're about to give it every... We are all here for a reason. We're all here for a purpose. Let's go show them why. We were all here, we were all picked for a reason and for a purpose, and we're about to show everyone why we were selected to be on this show. We are all here for a reason. Let's go show them why. Yeah, so you guys all just met, and now you gotta figure out which one's gonna be taking those suitcases that they brought, and uh, leave. Everybody has their votes in. The first person eliminated from Project Verified is... Alexi, I'm sorry, but you've been voted off the show. Cool. This house looks really tacky, so I'm just gonna find a nice hotel and I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. (laughs) Bye, Alexi.